The sound effects feature within 11 laps is actually quite impressive if you know how to use it right. So I'm about to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial, including all the tips and tricks in the 11 laps platform on how to get the most out of the sound effects feature. So whether you're a podcaster, film editor, content creator, or if you're just goofing around with your friends, you're going to know everything that you could possibly need to know about the sound effects feature. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so once you have 11 labs open, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to the sound effects panel option on the left hand side, you'll select that. And then here, you see that we have an option to generate, explore, or a history of all of our generations. So let's play with generate first. And this is where you can really imagine a sound and bring it to life. And so what you do here is you basically describe a scene. Now there's two ways to do it. You could keep it pretty short, like evil boss laughter or using a long prompt, such as imagine a sinister corporate executive who exudes arrogance and confidence. This evil boss's laughter is deep, slow, and gradually builds into a resonant crescendo. The laugh is filled with a mocking, almost dismissive tone, as if they take pleasure in others' failures. So first, let's do the simple prompt, evil boss laughing. And now is a good time to show you the settings. So you can obviously just hit generate sound effects or we could go to settings first and toggle some of the settings. So over here is the duration. And this basically dictates how long the generation is going to be. And typically they ask you to select something that's between half a second and 22 seconds long. Now what you can do is have this toggled on, which just means that 11 labs will factor the prompt into account and decide for you how long the actual duration of the sound effect should be. Or you could toggle this off and actually select how many seconds you feel is best to go ahead and produce this sound effect. So for the purpose of this tutorial, let's just leave this at five seconds and we'll do it manual rather than automatic. And over here, this is very important. This is the prompt influence. And basically, we can slide this scale right here in order to make the generation more creative or to have it follow the prompt as exact as possible. I do not recommend going 100% following the prompt or 0% more creative. What I have found in playing around with this is I always create two different versions. One that is anywhere between 20 and 25% as far as following the prompt. And then one that is 75 to 80% following the prompt. And then I compare and contrast and see which one I like better. Because depending on the type of prompt, you actually might want it to be more creative or to follow the prompt exactly. So let's go ahead and make this one a little bit more creative. We'll just leave it at 20% and we'll generate the sound effect of an evil boss laughing. <laughs> So you see, we're not really getting the type of feel that I was looking for. This is a little bit more of like some Disney or scary cartoon movie, it sounds like almost. And so if we go to settings for this prompt, I feel like I'll get something a lot better if I toggle it and leave it at 75%. So now I'll go ahead and I'll generate the sound effect. And if we play these now, <laughs> That actually sounds pretty perfect to me. A little bit exaggerated, but I still like it. That sounds like my first ever boss and the reason that I work for myself. And that sounds like the last person I dealt with at the DMV. But in all honesty, these are a lot better. Now I want to show you what happens if we actually put a very, very long prompt in that's a little more descriptive. Will it confuse 11 labs or will it actually perform better? So what I'll do, I'll go to settings. And once again, I will bring this back down to 20%. Let's generate the sound effect. So now let's listen to the generations. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> 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 
So the fourth one isn't bad, but as you can see, and I found this by playing around with this myself, is that when you use a very descriptive type of prompt, it goes ahead and adds a little bit of background to it sometimes. Now, if we go and toggle the settings to follow the prompt a little more accurately, so at 80%, this worked really, really well for us when we did a very short prompt. So let's see what happens when I generate the sound effects now. <laughs> So it's actually cool. It's almost uh, adding a little bit of a uh, musical effect in the background to go ahead and coincide with the feel and the mood of the actual prompt that I requested. <laughs> So that one's actually cool. And again, you could see how uh, you can hear some of the music in the background. It's pretty awesome that Love and Labs goes and does that. So I might have an opinion on some of these, but as you're listening to them, uh, you might actually feel like it's deriving and creating and generating something for you exactly as you had hoped it would be. My only tip is play with the prompt influence. I would not go above 80% or below 20% but if you wanna select it somewhere in between and try it out a couple of different times by going more creative or following the prompt a little more. Also, you can play around by selecting automatically pick the best length. Sometimes I found it actually generates the sound effects better when you give Eleven Labs the actual option to pick the best length for the sound effect. Something else that I wanna point out is if you like any of these, you basically just hover over this download icon here, select it and it will download download the actual file to your device. I wanna point out that it's an MP3 file, which is probably the most common type of sound file. So that's great that Eleven Labs does that. Some other platforms confuse things and make it in a different format than MP3. Over here, uh, if you hit this carrot icon, either down or up, that's when you'll see this timeline effect where you can play the sound effect, see how long it's playing for, you can rewind, you can fast forward, and you can also select the download icon here as well. Something else I wanna point out is you can explore what other people have been creating or what Eleven Labs recommends. There's a lot of genres here. So you can actually choose if you wanna see some sort of Eleven Labs uh, trending uh, sound effect, if you wanna see the most downloaded one, the most recent one, right? So that could be helpful, especially if you're trying to jog your creativity. You can also use the exact prompt or if you like it, you can actually just download it and then use it yourself. Also, if we go back to sound effects, you will see that there is a history panel here. And if you select history, you can actually download any one of your generations that you've created in the past. And also, if you're wondering how they end up in Explore, well, in your history panel, you can actually go to this share icon here, and then you're gonna share this to the Explore page, basically giving Eleven Labs the right to use your generation and throw it up in the Explore sound effects tab, which is pretty neat. I do wanna point out that you could keep track of how many things you're generating and how many credits you have that month and the remaining amount of credits. If you need more, you simply upgrade. And also I want to point out that with the different plans that Eleven Labs offers, you can actually just be doing this for $5 a month and you're gonna have 30,000 credits Per month. You can even try it out for zero dollars, but you only have a limited amount of credits. And the most popular one is the creator one. Now, personally, at this moment in time, I'm in the starter pack, even though I used to have a creator and even a pro account because I would create professional voice cloning, make tutorials on it. By the way, if you appreciate this video, please help me out by subscribing, but also clicking on the 11 Labs affiliate link that I will have in the description in the comments of this video because I help me out. Eventually, I'm going to recreate a 2025 uh, version of a tutorial series, everything you need to know about Eleven Labs, including all of the features from voiceover to dubbing to audio native to conversational AI. We'll do text to speech, voice changer, all that stuff. So if you want to keep me motivated, go ahead and subscribe, please. And I will see all of you in the next video.